No! Hello, this is the Rewind Gamecast. And today we are doing China. It took us a while to get this recording up because we were busy doing other things. But we are doing Shockwave China reviews. As you can see, I'm getting invaded by an army of tanks, so let's just try and casually go over all the units. Um. So, well, all the units that are changed, that is. Um. Red Guard have a, ch a taunt. Because they like to taunt, I don't know why. Um. I can switch to bayonet mode, which makes them attack with the melee with bayonet. Shankity shank. Shankity shank, alright. Um. Let's see. I think the missile defender or the tank hunter is the same. There's a siege soldier which which likes to carry around a big mortar. Um, oh yeah, can you like they like deploy then bombard an area? Yeah, exactly. Um, so they it's have like, nuke and ears for um, rise of the reds. Ah, that's cool. Um. So yeah, and then they can also fire a flare mortar, which deflects missiles, I guess. Hmm. Um, that's interesting. Like an ECM mortar, sort of. Kinda. Or just like Hard it intercepts tell. missiles. Um, well, it just does some weird, like, flash effect in the air, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, pretty sure Hacker is the same. And Black Lotus, I don't know how much stuff she could do, but capture building, vehicle hack, cash hack, disable building, system hack. I think it's all pretty much the same. Anyways, let's get on to the vehicles. So, um. Flies. The what? Never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, Battle Masters are pretty much the same. Troop crawlers, they have an upgrade where they can get an auto cannon. Well, it's like a upgrade on the actual machine rather than purchased in a structure. Mm. And I guess it just gives it some more firepower, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, well, I mean, they didn't have any weapons before, so... Yeah, though they were filled with troop crawlers. I mean, not what? <laughs> <laughs> you just created the paradox. Troop crawler section. Really? Uh, anyways, um, the dragon tanks, they can, uh, launch napalm fuel blobs. They basically, they're just, like, oil blobs, and then when they can that burn burns them. burns out of everything they touch. Yeah. When, whenever fire touches it, just everything just goes kaboom. Kablamo. Kablamo. Um, let's see, Gatling Hike. Forgot to make one. Um, pretty sure there isn't much new about it. Um, the Inferno cannons. Um, they can be loaded with anti-tank shells as opposed to napalm shells if you get an upgrade. Anti-tank is that just like maybe? Maybe. Just like high explosive, I think. Yeah, be cool if it was um, guided because anti-tank tanks move. Yeah, true, true, true. Um, yeah, gallon tanks the same. Uh, let's just see. Overlord, pretty much the same. Maybe it has new upgrades. Um, doesn't seem like it. Um, mm. Just the nuclear stuff. Uh, new cannons also pretty much the same. Um, the listening outpost, uh, still has tank hunters inside of it. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same, too. ECM tank... Uh, uh, it can disable vehicles, and can switch between hold fire and free fire modes. I don't know what that means exactly. It's probably a new one. Yeah. The, and then there's also the hack van, which carries um, two full vagrancy hackers and creates money on its own. Oh, kind of like a just a bigger version of a secondary economy. Kinda. Like hackers are a secondary economy, and hack yeah. vans to produce more money, maybe. That sounds 
about right. Um, uh, let's see. All right. Aircraft. Um, we have our normal MIGs, of course. That's not a normal MIG. Um, here, I think they're the same. They have MIG armor. Um, and there's a EMP MIG bomber. Um, hmm. I guess it just drops EMP bombs. I'm not sure exactly. Let me see. Or... Yeah, it seems to do that. It has three, and then it goes back to reload. Um, the Helix um, still has an napalm bomb upgrade and all that. It's pretty much the same. Um, and then there's a Tiger gunship, which is like a helicopter. Um, and let's see, it has like a it has like an auto cannon, but then also can launch two like high explosive missiles, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, that's almost it. Um, apparently at the propaganda center you can make something called a propaganda truck. And it, um, it spreads subliminal messaging across the land. <laughs> and Sounds quite propagandish. Yeah, but that basically improves units' abilities and heals them. And it also has two transport slots, so that's cool. One thing I didn't, I've never gotten about generals is how propaganda can heal something. I know. <laughs> that so is actually rough true. Because we have cheeseburgers, I guess. Oh! <laughs> time to get, time to have some insta heal ability. I'm gonna. I just lost my arm, but here it's growing back right now because of that. Just. <laughs> It's all a good propaganda. <laughs> it's only it was like, like that in like real life. Nice, oh god. Nice swig of propaganda in the morning. <laughs> keep, keep your bones strong. Keep your bones strong. <laughs> keep your everything alive by listening to propaganda. Oh, I have cancer. Oh, never mind. Here's some propaganda. Yep. Um, alright, so upgrades. Um, oh wait, structures first. I think there's some changes. Um, oh yeah, there's like, a bunch of new defenses. Um, there's the flame tower, which is basically, has a flamethrower. Sorry, what? Self-explanatory. Yeah, pretty much. Um, there's the listening post, which, um, long, has long range and stealth de detection. And I think you can put infantry inside it. And they can fire it. What? Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, the flame thing here. That looks pretty menacing. It's basically like a defensive um, dragon tank. And then there's a mine dispenser, which basically okay. automatically creates mines around itself. Um, and, you know, you all know what mines do. Heh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they, are they like, are they like, what, when people go down and find gold in them? Oh yeah, that's right, you're thinking about <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's probably what most fanboys think, sorry. Um, sorry, but it's true. Yeah, it is true. Probably. So, upgrades. Based off of no um, knowledge, but yes, it is yeah. actually based off of lots of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things. Um, for up new upgrades, there's a MIG Afterburner, which increases MIG speed. Um, blah, blah, blah. Anti-tank shells, which is gives the Infernal Cannon that ability. And I don't know if this was there before, but there's Battlemaster Mass Production, which basically reduces the cost of Battlemasters, and their production time goes down as well. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty neat, I guess. Um, alright, support powers. Only one new one. Um, basically napalm strike. Bombs up, bombards an area with napalm rockets. That sounds painful. Yeah, so we'll use that as the outro. Uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll make, um, the neck, the, the tank general next. Um, 
And yeah, let's just wait for this epicness to happen. Oh, that actually looks cool. Mm, I can't see it because I'm just in a Skype call, but yeah. yeah. But it just basically created a giant roaring inferno of death that like destroyed the structure instantly, kind of. Mm, now let's end off. Pretty useful. <laughs> But now let's end off with the real ending. We the have nuke. Our nuke oh yes, didn't forget the nuke. The nuke um, was changed. It has like more atoms are drawn in, then creates a big, much bigger explosion. Whereas the other one just yeah. made a big, uh, like a fiery cloud that, and then everything just exploded around it. Yep. If you watch the intro, you know what this massive beast can do. Look at that Sh shroom cloud. All right. Well. That's about it. See ya. Goodbye. Blur. Goodbye. 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 Yeah.